As you can see, we are well into construction. Demolition is complete, and we're now almost done with framing the home. One thing we discovered was a little bit more moisture damage than we had expected in the floor system. So in the kitchen and some other areas, we had to reframe sections of the floor. And then we've also reframed the ceiling in the living room because there was a very significant sag in it. Behind me over here, you can see where we've started framing the new wall system as well. One of the big surprises we discovered during demolition was actually within the walls. Here you can see there's brick and plaster. The walls are actually structural brick. There's three layers of brick covered with a base coat of plaster and then the finish coat of plaster. This is pretty rare actually in Atlanta for a home. You find this more in warehouses and things like that. So it's pretty common in like a loft conversion where you take an old warehouse and convert it into loft condos or apartments. But for a single family house like this, it was pretty surprising. What we're gonna do is we're actually framing out a wall over top of it. And this is gonna enable us to put a new layer of drywall. So we're doing this for aesthetics. It's gonna allow us to put in new electrical. So that's just practical reasons. And then we're gonna be able to insulate this wall cavity as well. One of the more unusual pieces of this assembly is we've chosen to use foam blocks behind the studs here in the middle because we needed to anchor the studs in the middle for extra support because we're going to be hanging drywall on it. Um, and we used foam behind it. The foam is going to provide a thermal break so that no heat can come through or go out through this, what would be normally a weak point in the assembly. And the foam will prevent any water or moisture from wicking through the wall into the wood. So it acts as a capillary break, it prevents capillary action. In the wall, we're then going to apply closed cell spray foam. And it's actually spray polyurethane foam. So urethanes are like a plastic. And closed cell foam has a very hard, high R value. It's around R6.8 per, per inch. And it is very strong, it's very rigid. So part of the reason we want to use it in this wall is because it's gonna help kind of act almost like a glue, holding it together and creating a nice sturdy, very strong wall assembly. In the roof line, we're gonna use open cell foam, which has a lower R value per inch, but we're not quite as concerned about rigidity up there. And closed cell foam also helps to prevent moisture transfer. With this being brick, we are concerned about too much water wicking through. Framing will be complete this week, and then we're going to start electrical, so running new electrical boxes and light switches and lights throughout the home, running the new plumbing throughout the home, and then we'll be ready to insulate the house. And we're insulating the walls, the roof line, and we're doing an encapsulated crawl space down below.